Hey everyone, it's Joyelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to show you four different kind of head scarf styles that you can use along with your natural hairstyles. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers, which is when I promised that we would do a giveaway if we haven't already hit it by the time that this video is uploaded. Also, if you are the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, and would love for you to promo to sponsor a video, please send me an email at Joyelle at gmail.com, but let's get started. So for today's video, I'm going to be using the new protective head scarves from Swirly Curly. They just dropped the other day and they actually come in multiple colors. So I have it here in black, which is why I have a cute little black dress on and jewelry to kind of get this to match. But for today's video, I kind of wanted to do some different styles with the head scarf. I see tons of videos of women doing turban head scarf styles and I kind of want to do something different. So I'm going to be showing you four different styles that I I've kind of been doing that work with like especially like a high puff hairstyle. Let's go ahead and start with style one. So for style one we're going to start with folding the scarf in half about three times so that the width of it is about the size of like a headband. So it's just going to cover this front part of your hair. What you're going to do is you're going to place it around your head or around the puff so that the loose ends are actually towards the back. You're going to tie it once to initially secure it. And then instead of double knotting, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck it through again to kind of avoid that bulky knot look in the back. And you're just then gonna let the loose ends just kind of hang. It's just kind of like a really cute, longer headband kind of a look. And <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like a fortune teller kind of a look, or like when you're a little girl and you will like tie your mom's big head scarves on and pretend you had like really long Rapunzel hair. <laughs> Was I the only one that did that? But I like this one because, again, because you're using that satin scarf on your hair, it's also going to be much gentler for your edges. This is probably the simplest look that I do with a scarf and kind of when you don't really want to wear just a regular headband, you kind of want a little bit more going on with uh, your look basically. But this is kind of the simplest look that I do. But I like it because instead of double knotting like I said before and just tucking it through again, you kind of avoid that bulky knot on the back side of your head. Because you also don't have that knot, it's not gonna apply pressure to the back of your head, which I know sometimes can trigger migraines or even headaches for some people. For style two, it's kind of the same way, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the scarf in half, again, about three times, and then you're gonna place it around your head with the loose ends towards the front. You're then gonna wrap the ends around each other to create a twist, so you're gonna twist the ends around each other and then bring it around the back side of your head and twist it again. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring the ends towards the front and tuck them in and this is going to create kind of a solid headband look but because you have those little twists it kind of adds a different design which I've seen a ton of times on different like head scarf or like turban looks but for this this is kind of a variation from the first one where you don't have the ends dangling but you again still have the protection for your edges all the way around while leaving your puff kind of out for the style. So for style three, for this look, you're gonna actually bring your puff up higher up on your head by sliding the back of the band up higher and then also creating a tighter puff. So I actually had looped my scrunchies around an extra time to make sure it was tighter and could hold and hold itself up higher on my head. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold your scarf in half only two times, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the smooth end of the folded scarf towards the bottom of your head and bring it around your head with the loose ends towards the front. Then what you'll do is you'll twist it about one to two times depending on you know how much hair you have or how much of the twisted design you'd like to see. But you're gonna twist it about one to two times in the front and then twist it again in the back. Then you're gonna bring the ends towards the front and then tuck them to hide them. And honestly, I find that this looks, this scarf look specifically, looks really, really well with big hooped earrings. I kind of switched out the studs I was wearing for big hoops. I think the more hair you cover, the better it looks with like a bigger earring paired with it. I feel like it kind of brings out kind of more of a glam look. That's just my opinion. I think it's really, really cute. 
And then last but not least, for style number four, again, you're gonna have uh, your puff kind of up higher up on your head. I find it much easier when the puff is held a little bit tighter and higher up on your head. But this time you're gonna place the entire unfolded scarf over the entire puff with enough of it to cover the front and back side of your head. So again, that's kind of why you have it unfolded. You want enough, you want it to cover basically your entire head and all of your hair. Then you're gonna take the loose ends and you're gonna bring them towards the front of your head and you're gonna twist again about one to two times depending on which look you like or how big your specific scarf is. For this one, obviously, I like to twist it around about twice. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it to the back and then twist it again, which is also gonna help kind of secure, but you're twisting it around the base of your puff. Your puff is kind of guiding where these ends are gonna be going. After twisting it about one or two times again, you, depending on how big your scarf is or how much hair you're covering and how much security you need, you're gonna twist it you know, one or two times and then wrap the loose ends toward the front and then tuck, tuck it in. So you'll wrap it around enough times and then tuck the loose ends in. And again, I think this look looks really well paired with large hoop earrings. And because your whole puff is now covered, this is great for, again, if maybe you are on the last day of your like hair routine and it's like the day before wash day or your hair is looking crazy and you just need all of your hair to be covered. So those are my four headscarf ideas that I've kind of developed around the hair puff hairstyle and that have been kind of working for me. I've always kind of had issues replicating other women's headscarf styles. I don't know what it is with me, but these are the ones that I have been able to work the best with that I've kind of come up on my own that don't require the use of pins. Uh, you're able to just kind of tuck it in and it honestly lasts the entire day for me. If you need to use pins or you need to not insert areas for it to hold in your hair, you can totally do that. But these are the styles that I have found the easiest for me to work with, the easiest ones for me to style, while also kind of changing up the aesthetic of, you know, of just the high puff on its own or just my look in general. I hope these were easy for you guys to kind of follow. I hope these are easy headscarf styles for you guys to replicate. I do, <laughs> they're not like probably any, ha they're probably not anywhere near how some of the other women on YouTube do it. I know that for a fact, but this, this has just worked the easiest for me. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. I hope that you were able to kind of take something from it. Thank you again to Swirly Curly for sending me these head scarves and giving me the opportunity to kind of try something different with my hair and try a different kind of protective style in a sense for my hair. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Keep blooming and I'll see you guys in the next video.